Hi, today I have a um, simple problem for you and uh, here is a, a problem if a non-template strand of DNA of the gene E. coli had a sequence and here is a sequence um, this is 5 prime end and this is 3 prime end uh, so what is the nucleotide sequence would be present in the message RNA transcript for this gene and um, as I said, this is a simple question and probably your first uh, idea would be to build just complementary uh, strand. And as you see, here is a perfect minus 35 region and this is minus 10 region. And uh, this is also called consensus sequences. So uh, these two sequences here serve as a binding site for promoter protein and uh, this sequence in between 18 bases is not uh, essential so it can be mutated, uh, some bases can be substituted with other bases it doesn't affect how uh, effectively this protein would bind to this sequence and here we also have region of the eight bases or to which um, protein doesn't bind but here would be our beginning of the uh, transcription uh, at, at this uh, particular nucleotide and um, but don't think that uh, we just have to build a complementary strand like this for example, G would pair with C, G, G, and uh, A, A, G, G, um, A pairs with uh, Zymine, but as long as we are building um, message RNA, you probably may think that this is going to be uracil here, cytosine, adenine, and cytosine here. Uh, but this is not correct answer. Uh, probably this is the um, most obvious solution, but this is not correct. And here is the explanation how to build a, a correct uh, picture. And as I said, this is uh, this trend of the DNA is uh, non-template. And also, uh, it's called coding sequence. And that means that this sequence is uh, the same sequence as a message RNA sequence. Um, with one exception that Zymin is substituted with uracil. So let me once again draw this sequence. So I am not going to draw the whole sequence, uh, we are only particular at this sequence that uh, would be transcribed. So I um, just let me make a copy. So this is going G, C, C, T, T, C, C, A, G, T, and G. So uh, as I said, this is a coding sequence, coding template, and uh, uh, our non-coding or template sequence going to be complementary to this sequence. So here we have our five prime end and three prime end. So our uh, template sequence going to be three prime end here and uh, G pairs with C, G, G, um, Zymine with adenine, so A, A, G, G, T, C, A, and C here. So this is going to be 5 prime end here. And now we can build a uh, message RNA. So this is going to be DNA, 
sequence, uh, two strands of DNA, one coding, another one template. So now we can make a new strand of DNA uh, that would be complementary to the template uh, strand of DNA, not to the coding, but it's going to be the, almost the same sequence as coding uh, or same sequence as coding a strand of DNA except uh, substitution of uh, thymine with uracil. So uh, our message RNA going to be, so this is message RNA, uh, let me choose same color as coding sequence because uh, this is going to be same sequence. So G, C, C, uracil, uracil, C, C, A, G, uracil, and G here. So this is going to be message RNA sequence here. So this sequence is going to be our answer. And this message RNA going to have 5 prime N here and 3 prime N here, just like coding sequence, uh, coding uh, strand of DNA. And I also want to add that this, those, this uh, uh, message RNA going to be transcribed, this sequence, but it doesn't uh, mean that this particular sequence at the beginning of the message RNA going to be translated into the uh, protein itself. Uh, usually the sequence at the beginning serve as binding, binding site for the uh, ribosome and actual uh, translation into the protein start with uh, start codon that is AUG and uh, it's also code for the uh, messianine so uh, it's usually about 20-30 nucleotides downstream uh, from the site uh, where um, message RNA begins trans to be transcribed. So um, hopefully you were able to learn something new today and this information will interesting to you. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.